Welcome to the Bro Checklist. So today we're working on my 1987 Austin Rover Mini. I'm converting the old engine driven cooling fan with a modern electric fan. So originally the car was equipped with this fan that is bolted directly against the water pump and is driven by a belt. As the car moves it takes in wind through the grill and the fan blows it out again through the radiator into the wheel well. The problem is that the speed of the fan is determined by the RPM of the engine. So if you're stuck in traffic on a hot day, the engine won't make a lot of RPM and the fan doesn't spin fast enough and you have the chance of overheating the engine. Besides that, it takes away a little bit of power and throttle response. So with the radiator and the fan removed, we can test for our new electric fan. I bought an SK Import 10 inch fan, uh, probably something you can find on eBay or Amazon. They are cheap and they are available in many sizes, so they are pretty easy to use. Uh, to mount the fan to the radiator, there are a few options, I chose to mount it to the back of the radiator because that gives me a little bit more space in the engine bay. Always make sure your fan blades are in the right position. This model of fan you can just turn around the blade to make it either suck or blow. You can do this by just unbolting the center screw and turn around the blades. Some fans don't come with this option so make sure you know where to put your fan and what type you should use. It will either suck or it will blow. So to test if the fan blows in the right way, I made a little setup. I taped some paper on top, I did some wiring and I found an old car battery and then I'm going to manually start the fan. Yes indeed, it blows the right way, so I need my fan blow this way otherwise I had to change the blade around and it blow that way. So to fit the new electric fan to the radiator I made these brackets and painted them in gloss black. So these four bolts connect the fan to the water pump, we'll be replacing these with shorter ones just to give it a little bit more clearance. As you can see I already made a lot of progress on the Mini. I already did the uh, final assembly and tested if the fan works. One of the things I had to figure out was where to put the temperature sensor. So I had a few options. I could have plumbed it in right here. That's the sensor for the water temperature gauge on the dashboard. Or I could have drilled a hole in the thermostat housing. But instead I um, 
use a sandwich plate from a later type mini so it bolted right on I only had to drill in a hole for the sensor but because of the thermostat housing now sits higher I had to make a custom bracket to fit to the radiator I made it a little bit shorter so that the radiator leans in a little bit more towards the engine and that gives a little bit more room to the fan itself and on the inside I also fitted a switch so I can manually override the temperature sensor just in case necessary